Okay. Good morning. My name is Alan Tepfer. I'm a first lieutenant in the United States Army Reserve. I just got back two weeks ago from Iraq, where I served as the battle captain for all detainee operations in Iraq, theater of operations. A lot of what uh, we had go on over there was, from a detainee operations standpoint, it was dealing with the folks who had been captured and who needed a place to stay for a while, as it were. Uh, we did a really, really, really excellent job. Uh, the detainees were cared for, and they were given everything that they needed and more. Uh, that having been said, uh, there are some bad actors there. Uh, there are some folks who are less than savory, shall we say. Uh, make no mistake about it. Uh, those folks will go back to the terrorist aspect of things because there's there's no way we're going to change their hearts and minds, anything like that. They're just they're just too far gone. One of the programs we had implemented over there was called the House of Wisdom, and the House of Wisdom dealt with some of the younger folks who had been detained and had less than a third grade education. And what the program primarily did was educate them first and foremost in in the alphabet, in writing, in reading, uh, teaching them job skills. We had detainee work program, which dealt with a lot of carpentry, uh, dealt with a lot of floor laying, that kind of affair. So there were a number of programs in which we could affect uh, how those folks interacted, worked, so they weren't in a prison, so to speak. Uh, they were detainees, and once again, they were well cared for, they were well kept. Uh, the Red Cross was heavily involved with what we did and how we did it. Uh, some of the challenges that we had there, we do have troublemakers coming from place to place. Uh, the, the theater itself has three different operational bases from which it works, and the troublemakers, so to speak, have to go to a little bit more refined lockdown. But overall, it was an excellent tour. I learned a lot, and please don't be mistaken and don't be fooled by anyone. For the folks over there, the ones who are committed and the ones who are coming after us, are coming after us. There is nothing that is true about Al-Qaeda not being in Iraq. Al-Qaeda is in Iraq. They're up in Mosul, that's why they're having the problems that they're having. They are coming after us. They're regrouping. They are going to hit us again. Be prepared. Be on watch. But your military is most definitely doing an excellent, fantastic job. Under the leadership of General David Petraeus and under the leadership of General Ray Odierno, this war has been an absolute huge, huge victory. And we need it to continue. And so, I thank you very much for allowing me the privilege to be able to speak with you today a little bit, give you a little bit of background, and I wish you well. God bless the United States of America.